Honey, Toddy, gosh almighty, who the heck are they? Hey, flim, flam, bim, bam, old miss. By golly, and welcome to Vaughn Hemingway Stadium where the Rebels are ready to take the field. Today we have a top 25 matchup on hand with two of college football's premier teams preparing to slug it out. As we'll see, the number 14 team in the country, the Oklahoma Sooners, taking on the fifth-ranked team in the land, the Ole Miss Rebels. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. The Rebels will get us underway with the opening kickoff. On the move from inside is five. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. So the Oklahoma Sooners return man hardly helped out the offense with that one. And here comes the big fella, a staple of this aerial attack, Jesse. And he's a guy they can line up all over the field, David. There's matchups out there waiting to be taken advantage of. Yeah, and it's so nice to be able to do that. It makes it easy to play quarterback when you can feature a guy like this that's fast, big, and strong. So I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered. And the Sooners are in the hurry up. Using his legs, it's Ocha. He kept those legs moving, got three out to the 19. he gets it to the 28-yard line before he stopped. Love the way he didn't just run to a spot. He found the cushion in the zone and got himself open for the first down. Yeah, and you're taught to find that space. You know, don't run right into a zone defender who's sitting there looking at the quarterback and looking at you. So much creativity with routes now and being able to just have subtle moves one way, come back the other way. Nice job by the tight end finding that hole in the zone. They'll give it to the back. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Man, what a spectacular play by that defensive end to come up with the tackle there. And you see those guys get off the football so fast. Most of these guys are 250 to 275 pounds, but they get off the ball fast. Oh, and the offensive line, they have no chance to stop those guys as quick and as fast as they are. Gets the nose of the ball to the 25, giving one. Man, that deep tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long, balls at the 25. He's looking downfield to throw. They'll run the screen. No, oh, he got loose. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Well, they pick up the first down there on the screen. I love the offensive line there, allowing the pass rush to get way up the field. They completely baited their guys, made them think that they got beaten, that they were going to get the sack, and then they sneak the running back screen right in behind them and pick up the first. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. It's really frustrating when you get a guy in his spot. He's in the hole. He's there to do his job. You can't get the guy on the ground. That's your job. Get him on the ground. You know, especially a guy that's not a huge back. You gotta make that tackle. You can't make it easy on the offense when now they got a manageable situation. Off the play fake. Oh, he wants it all. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass. Locating the football, no PI, able to swat it away passing. They'll come to the line for the eighth snap on this opening drive, facing a third and short. They'll try to power their way ahead. That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. 
It's a really good sign if you're on offense here. You're putting it on your offensive line on third down. Critical down and distance, opening drive of the game. Let those guys fire off, get a hat on a hat. You can run the ball, pick up the first. You're around midfield. And all things looking pretty good here early for this offense. They're getting this guy lathered up. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. The Sooners racing to the line in the hurry up. He'll keep it himself. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good game before the stop is made. Yeah, and it's so hard to contain this guy with all those options he has and the experience in the quarterback spot. But nice job by the defense limiting the damage. Didn't give up a huge game. The 11th play of this opening drive, they face a third and short. Trying to pick it up on the ground. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Goodness, that happened fast. He was in the backfield before the ball was even snapped. Oh, man, adrenaline pumping, heart beating a little faster. There is some intensity on that one. They'll play it safe and send out the field goal unit. And it's no good. He missed it. Kicker couldn't quite get it through, and the scoreboard remains the same. You can't miss opportunities like that. You're playing on the road in a hostile environment. You're trying to seize momentum right out of the gate. You get a nice drive to start the game, and then you miss the field goal. You don't get any points to show for that. If they're going to win this one, guys, they've got to take advantage of those types of opportunities. He couldn't connect on that 54-yard field goal attempt, and now they'll have it first and 10 from the 37. Out of the shoot, quick toss to the right. That's a really good tackle there, giving up some size and still making the play. Must be nice for this quarterback knowing he's got this type of athlete playing the tight end position. That can work the middle of the field for him. He's a guy who can stretch it vertically as well, but this is a guy the QB will look for early and often in this game. Now the play fake. He's got an open man. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. And that's why play action is going to be big in this game. You saw him just freeze the second level of that defense just for a second and allowed the tight end to work himself vertically down the field. But how about this guy after the catch, right? So hard to bring down. What a weapon. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. The quarterback bought as much time as he could, but the defense got to him and sacked him. The idea was to sell that play fake. Nobody was buying it. You're right, Reese. That D-line, they looked like they had their ears pinned back, and they were coming after the quarterback. You saw dudes rush upfield. They got to that QB fast. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. They'll run play action quickly out to the tight end he's brought down but there's a flag on the field let's see which way Personal that's going to go Look at the pass, pass. Defense. Defense. just an ill-advised play by the defender to make contact with the quarterback after the throw and it cost his team from the gun running back on the move got enough for the first and he'll glide his way in for the score Touchdown, Rebels! Now you know why you do all of those squats, all of those deadlifts, extra time in the weight room. No doubt. Get that lower body strength so you can shed people off. You did a great job smelling the end zone and getting in. Ready to try the point after. And 
and the extra point makes it 7 0. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And he capped it off with a 27 yard touchdown run. They're just about ready to kick it away. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. Here come the Sooners ready to go on offense. To the ground with the back. Pass the first down marker and still running. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. There's always been a lot of flash and sizzle to the Oklahoma offense, but it's built on being tough. Yeah, and especially the great teams. The great teams that you think about in Oklahoma past, the ones that were in the national championship or in the playoff, those are teams that can run the football, be physical. It all started there. To the air on first down. Got it in the middle. It's all Chuck. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Hey, guys, this running back's not just catching check downs or swing routes. You can get him vertically down the field and let him go to work, especially when you get man coverage. Take advantage. The Sooners headed quickly to the line. Scanning the field, it's Arnold. Steps away to find some room. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Hey, listen, it's important at that position to be able to be good off schedule. Everything's easy when it's on time. You can get the ball out, but when things break down and they get off schedule, you've got to have a guy back there that can make the right decisions. He did exactly that. And the Sooners have it with a first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Got his man downfield. And they explode on that one, and they've got it down to the 22. Well, he's able to make it easy after that catch, and I think his speed is something that just scares DBs to death. And you think about great Oklahoma receivers recently, guys like CeeDee Lamb, Sterling Shepard, Hollywood Brown. DBs gave them so much cushion because they were afraid they were going to get run by, and I think that's how defenses treat this guy, too. With his speed and his playmaking ability, he scares you to death, and that cushion helps him out tremendously. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance, and, and right here just choose up another first down, gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. And right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. If that first down play was any indication, they might walk this thing in on second and goal. He'll run it to the right, looking for the goal line. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown Sooners! Precision blocking up front created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. Lining up to add another. And it's perfect. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown, and they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. 
Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. And the Rebels moving quickly to the line. They'll run it to the right. Not a lot of room, but found his way ahead for two out to the 26. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. He'll make a play on third down. He's got enough for the first as they mark it at the 32. You know, they pride themselves on being physical at the point of attack, dominating at the line of scrimmage. Nice job there picking up the first down. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. And he fires over the middle. It's incomplete. Well, it's a nice job by the quarterback getting the ball out of his hands quickly on that RPO. He saw something he liked, just not on the same page with his receiver. After the incompletion, it's second down. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. I'll tell you what, that was a lightning fast decision. You could tell he knew what he wanted to do right away, makes the decision, but maybe his footwork wasn't a little bit good and the pass wasn't where he wanted to put that thing. I know that. They line up and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. And the pass rush is effective and they tackle him at the 19. Pretty nice as a defense, right? When you can go nickel, put five DBs on the field and not have to blitz anyone, trusting your front four to get the job done on third down, and they do it right there getting the sack. The Rebels will try to pin them back with the punt. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. On the move, it's Bowen. They make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. Now the Oklahoma offense will go back to work. If you like old-fashioned, grinded up, run over on football, that last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was aggressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical running by these ball carriers. And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive to try to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. After the misfire, it's second down. Looking to pass. It's Arnold. Gets it out fast. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Really nice job threading the needle in that pass. They've had a lot of dudes that were able to do that in Norman, Oklahoma. Josh Heupel, Jason White, Sam Bradford, Baker Mayfield, Kyler Murray, Jalen Hurts. The names go on and on and on. Hurting you in the passing game with their vision, with their accuracy. This guy, I tell you, he fits right in in this Oklahoma offense. Looking to go up top on first down. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. All the way down to the 25-yard line, they move the sticks, it's first down. I really like the slot receiver, and I understand he's not the biggest guy in the world, but he just runs really good routes, and he's always under control. He can run option routes, he can run double moves, he does a great job cutting, and he's dangerous after the catch. Nice weapon to have work in the middle of the field. Leaves it with the running back. They make the stop of the 19 after a pickup of five. This defense has got to get better at tackling the open field or gang tackling because if you need three or four guys to bring a guy down, have fun with that. The Sooners will hustle to the line. Got 
got his man quickly. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, Oklahoma! Man, he didn't just put it on his numbers. If he were throwing it at a front porch, he would have put that right in the keyhole. What a precise pass. Right in the keyhole, right on the button, right on the face mask, whatever it was. Great throw, great timing. Nice job by the quarterback. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the PAT gives him a 14-7 lead. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the capper a 19-yard toss for the touchdown. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the putter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them to football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. They ran it on first down, now on second. Running back searching for a hole. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. Teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. They've swapped ends of the field, and we're ready to go in the second. They'll snap it from the 39, first and 10. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. I saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. Got three on first down at second and seven. The gift to the back. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous. And the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. And the Rebels in the hurry up. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. The Rebels will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Looking for a block. It's Bowen. Pretty solid coverage there, and they'll stop him at the 26. The Sooner offense returns to the field. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing. Dan, you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. He'll do it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. How about the defensive end understanding football, understanding that i got to keep outside contained. I'm responsible for the quarterback. Good job playing his responsibility. And how about getting that sucker on the ground? He's a pretty good athlete to be able to corral him, tackle him right in the middle of the field and get him to the ground. 
third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. You gotta love that. On defense, one of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. What do you do? You set up fourth and long. You're gonna get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. give to the running back from the shotgun. Find some fresh air. And he gets a big chunk of yardage to the 34-yard line. Well, there's the offense trying to take advantage of this running back speed. I like the call. Hand off to the left, to the outside. Put him in space and let him go to work. Linebackers moving, trying to confuse the quarterback. And the Rebels want to pick up the tempo. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Wide open downfield. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seven. And this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field, and they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Got to need better effort in the back end for this defense moving forward. A first down run in the red zone. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. They've got it down to the three. Now it's second and goal. Power ahead. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Ole Miss! I love running backs that have a nose for the goal line. Understand how to get there, finish strong into the end zone. Know I get six, and then go celebrate with your guys. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Blitz the uprights. Personal foul. Personal foul. Roughing, Roughing the kicker. The kicker. Defense. 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 So the decision has been made and the coach will take the penalty. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. If you can do that, I don't know why you don't do it every time. Reduce the risk. Bang it out of the back of the end zone. They'll put it in play at the 25. They'll put the tight end in motion. Off the play fake on first down to throw. It's caught downfield. Just slithered through the tackle when he's got room to run. Touchdown Sooners. A great catch and run for six. Speed kills this offense. They've got multiple guys that can burn you. You can see it doesn't take them long to light up the scoreboard. to attempt the try. Is 
And with the extra point, the score is now 21 to 14. That kind of drive will boost your confidence. One play, hit the big pass, put a touchdown on the board. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. And he'll bring it back. Strikes the ball. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. These two defenses have had their heads spinning here in the first half, and now we might even see a little more scoring with this drive. It's going back and forth. This is like two heavyweights just trading blows, David. What has this defense got to do to get a stop here? I, I tell you what, man. When you're giving up points like this and you've got no momentum, you've got to find somebody that can make a play to create some. And, and listen, if, you're, if they're scoring anyways, let's be aggressive. Let's blitz more. Let's, let's make sure we're making them feel discomfort in some way, shape, or form. Running to the left. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Well, they're trying to get that run play going to the outside, but it's the defensive end who does a great job winning his one-on-one -on -one and forcing the negative play. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Looking for a man. It's dark. Zings it complete to the right. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Love the coverage and not giving up an inch defensively. Their third down smothering the receiver. As soon as he caught the ball, down he went. They've got this offense pinned. The Rebels send out the punt unit. Running it back, it's Bowen. And he is knocked down immediately after the catch. That punt coverage team had its hair on fire. Lost to throw on first down. And this sophomore's going to learn. You can't force that type of pass. Very lucky to get it back. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy has had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. No gain on first down after the incompletion. Now, second and ten from the 40. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. What a hit by the defender. That's a good throw, and that was going to be caught, but how about the defender dislodging the football from its intended target? Nice job. Here they come, facing third and long from the 40. They'll go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Man, how about that defense? On the snap, they are in the backfield. Great penetration. Nowhere to go for the running back. That defense was sitting on G, waiting on O. The Sooners decide to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. And the Rebels want to crank the tempo. They want to run it left here. He tried to find some running room, but they get him stopped. And I can't tell you how much I love seeing corners being willing to come up and tackle. That is so huge for a defense. You can't olay blocks and create space. You can't just hang out on the outside. You got to go set that edge. And conversely, I can't tell you how much I hate it when receivers don't want to block. You got to do a better job. Of and the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. What a great job by this defense setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting him on the ground. That's why they've built a lead. The 
the Rebels will call on their punt team. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. Time for this Sooner offense to go back to work. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. They've got some work to do on this third and long from the 40. Looking for a man. It's Arnold. They're bringing heat. That pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. And that's a play on third down. This offense just has to do a better job protecting their quarterback, give them a split second more time to complete that throw, but they couldn't do it there. And the Sooners will punt it away on fourth down. ready to send the offense onto the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. Linebackers trying to create some confusion. And the Rebels want to move quickly. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Wells. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. For a wide receiver screen to work, you've got to have better blocking out in front by other receivers. And they're just not physical enough at the point on that last play. They're about to wear this punter out. He's already been out four times, staring at a fifth if they can't move the chains. They'll run it from the gun. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. The Rebels will bring the punt team onto the field. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards and help out the O. Quarterback on the keeper. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Second down coming up. Takes the handoff. It's all Chuck. Got room at the 35. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. You know, Oklahoma's DNA is being tough. They have a whole drill about being tough named after them, the Oklahoma drill, and they won that one. Yeah, and we've seen that kind of come and go some throughout the years, but it started with serious physicality back in the day when they ran the option and just hit you in the mouth. But... You know, football's involved, and, and that's the one thing about this offense. They keep their physicality, the certain physicality. The good Oklahoma teams are physical. Well, there's a statement by the defensive line. First down play, expecting run, and they just dominated up front. Beat their one-on-ones and forced a tackle for a loss. To the air, it's Arnold. He's got it, and he will score! Touchdown, Oklahoma! 
That is what we call in the industry a defensive breakdown. That guy was loose for the big play. Uh, busted coverage, uh, really, really bad execution. Somebody slips, somebody falls. Nothing about that defensively is something you're looking for, but the offense will take it and, and get the easy touchdown. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is good for a 28-14 lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they cap things off with a scoring toss from 27 yards out. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Looks like he's going to try to return it. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. Not a lot of time left here in the half. Let's see if they can cut into this lead. And this drive, that's a live ball. Defense falls on the ball. Going to be a turnover. Yeah, these wide receivers are so fast nowadays. They're such big playmakers. I just want to get it to them and let them make it happen. But a lot of times... We're running to him, too. We're focused on chasing him down and funneling the football in the right direction. Defense Swarm did a good job getting their hand on the football, causing the fumble from the wide receiver. First down for this offense. They go to the draw. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow at second and seven. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Back to throw, it's Arnold. Fires complete on the crosser. He's there to make the stop, and the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. The magic bean is spinning out of control. Already over 200 yards in the first half. Yeah, they're being aggressive offensively, throwing the football, trying to take advantage of this defense on the back end. They've got their quarterback right now in a group. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Apparently some confusion as the offense calls the timeout. It's their first of the half. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Now they'll run the draw. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. Effective draw plays in the running game really begin with the quarterback. The quarterback's got to be a great sailor. You've got to really make the defense think it's pass. You keep your eyes focused downfield until the last possible second turn around and hand it off. And by that point, the defensive ends have rushed way upfield, and there's less bodies for the running backs to have to maneuver around before finally moving forward. Really nice job by the defense, playing aggressive, understanding it could be a running situation, but still playing disciplined enough to play the pass and be successful on that third shot. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. It is true as he puts three on the board. And they'll push that lead out a little further. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was looking for some running room but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Got the first down, looking for more. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. 
now on first down from the 30. He's going to pass. That's caught. It's well. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Just enough time for one final play in this half. Looking to pass on second down. Caught close to the marker. It's Priest Corn. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, thanks, guys. You've had yourselves a superb broadcast so far in Oxford today. And you know, in a day where the spread option and air raid are the offenses of choice, how nice is it to see the three yards and a cloud of dust approach? Although we've also seen some runs go for a lot longer. Physical offensive lines coupled with great backs is like a throwback to the olden days, and that's refreshing. And with that, let's head back to the Grove at our fillers at Vaught Hemingway Stadium. Looks as if we're set to crank it up here in the second half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the returner will be knocked down. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. They start this third quarter in a big hole, and they have to start climbing out right now. And they're going to have to be really aggressive. It's like this offense, when I'm playing from behind, every possession means so much more. And if you look the other side, the defense, they haven't given much resistance. Yeah, nothing has gone their way in the first half offensively. And you know now, based on how this defense is playing with their confidence, that you are going to be challenged on every single snap. So buckle up, get your mind right, and get ready to come back in this game. They'll leave it with him. He makes the tackle at the 24-yard line. It's a pickup of five, and they'll have a first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. And the Rebels come to the line in the hurry-up. Pulls and throws off the RPO. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. And a great job on the QB, finding the running back, get him the football where he can do some damage after the catch, and most importantly, get the first down. The Rebels will have it first and ten. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Fires to the middle. Makes the grab. Big play for this offense as they get it to the 32. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. They've got it down to the 32. First and 10 coming. Give to the back. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. Fires to the right. Oh, what a spectacular layout and catch. You always hear, put it on the tight end's body, Jesse, but with this guy, you don't have to all the time. No, he's got long arms, Reese, and he's athletic. I mean, this guy can jump. He can go vertical. He can go horizontal. And that, my friend, was a stab. That was incredible. They'll try to drive ahead on third and short. Tackled, but he has a first down. Wow, the running back there showing you his skill set is able to rip off that one for a first down.
down to the 16-yard line. It's first and 10. They'll ride the hot hand. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. So he gets stuffed on first down, and now you have the offensive coordinator thinking a little bit. Yeah, we're probably going to have to throw it now in this second play. But what are we going to see defensively? Now that they know we're throwing, might they blitz us? Do I have to leave more guys in to block? There's a real cat and mouse game going on right now between these two coaching staffs. He'll pull it on the read. Quick step and go. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. They'll run it on first and goal. Fighting for the end zone, and he dropped it. Well, the offense ought to go buy a lottery ticket because that ball somehow bounced right back to them. They'll keep it. I don't know if it was luck or aggression or just a fortuitous bounce, but at least they've got the ball back. Well, one thing I do know, Reese, this running back has got to do a better job with ball security. You cannot turn the football over and expect to win this game. They're very lucky they were able to his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Rebels! His defense is going to have to do a better job being physical. That's two rushing touchdowns they've now allowed. They have got to be better close to the line of scrimmage. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point is good, but they still trail 31-21. So a drive there of 84 yards, and they finish it off with a short plunge into the end zone. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes the Sooner offense back onto the field. The give to the back. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Right, his running backs have all kinds of success. Now we're getting later in the game. we got to make sure we get some stops, get the ball back to our offense. The Sooners are in the hurry up. He'll run it again. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. Building momentum, picking up a chunk of yardage, moving the chains out to the 34. And it's really nice to have a workhorse running back that you know you can feed and get productive gain after gain. Now over 100 yards. You've already got some separation on the scoreboard. I would continue to feed this workhorse. Hand off from the shotgun. Got enough for the first down. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good gain. And listen, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, I love teams that commit to the run, and when it's successful, keep running the rock. Yeah, David, I think this offensive line right now, they've got a lather going. They're, they're really sort of getting in the groove and flow of this game. They're just getting tremendous push at the point of attack. It seems like every single time they decide to run the ball. Draws and screens are a great way to slow down really aggressive pass rushers. It allows the defensive ends and the defensive tackles to run upfield. The offensive line, they kind of push them upfield, go down to the next level, try to sneak in a big play. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Here's the handoff. The Sooners will move the sticks. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will 
on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. And the Sooners come to the line with a new set of downs. Give to the running back. He'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Tempo in overdrive. He'll keep it himself. Nice move to keep moving. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. Well, he shoots up yards, now. he? Now, that was really quick, really decisive. Design quarterback runs are very difficult to stop, and you can tell he's got some ability to make big plays. And thank goodness they got him on the ground and it wasn't a bigger play than it could have been. ball on third and short. The Sooners get it past the sticks. Third and inches, everybody knows what's coming, but it's so dang hard to stop it. You better get penetration with that defensive line. They didn't do a good enough job. Running back falls forward and does his job. They have just bloodied their nose on this drive all on the ground. It's first and ten. Out of the gun, the give to the back. He has the first and still on his feet. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. Another good run. Man, he has been picking up yards in bunches today. Jesse's showing off all the skills. And he's showing no signs of slowing down, David. This guy just gets better as the game goes on. He is a beast. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. Pushes ahead for two to the seven-yard line. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Using the quick game. Touchdown Sooners! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. And another passing touchdown for this Sooner quarterback. He keeps this up, and he might wind up in that 100-touchdown club with Baker Mayfield and Landry Jones. So many good guys that have had good days, but how about this day? I mean, fitting the ball all over the yard, just padding the stats, and you start mentioning guys like Jones, and you start mentioning guys like Baker Mayfield, that's Sooner pristine legacy there. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. Personal foul. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. Defense. Defense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The kickoff team on the field, he ought to just boom this thing through the end zone with that extra 15 yards on the penalty. Not going to get a return here. They'll bring it out to the 25 as the kickoff sails through the back of the end zone. Coming out on first down with the play fake. A strike downfield. And he'll have enough for the first down at the 42. And this is what's so great about play action. The run fake sucks those linebackers up, and it just creates so much more space for these receivers to operate. Beautiful execution by the offense. And the Rebels racing to the line in the hurry up. The play action fake. Fires to the middle. Holds it in. They're ripping off chunks of yard to take, get it to the 33. You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there, but the throw to running backs, you gotta make it easy. So you wanna put it right on their body, make the catch simple, and let them go to work like they did just there, getting that first. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33.
Used to play fake. Now to throw. Got a man. It's Watkins. Now he's got it all the way down to the 21-yard line, and they are threatening on first down. I love when you sell the run like that quarterback did right there. Stuck it in the belly of the running back. Pulls it out. Runs the play action. Great job of confusing the defense a little bit, making them honor the run, and then throwing the ball in the lanes right behind them. Caught in the backfield, it's Watkins. Touchdown, Oh Miss! And they kick it in for six more points. Oh, the offense shows some life here and cuts into the lead with that score. And man, they needed it. They had to have something to go right. Listen, still down, but this is a great start to get back in this ball game. Lining up for the PAT. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. Personal foul. Personal foul. foul. Looking to kick the kicker. Kick kick defense. 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 So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. They're lining up to kick it off, and he ought to be able to knock this one anywhere he wants after that extra 15 yards with the roughing the kicker. Just unloaded on that kickoff. Don't have to worry about a return on a kick like that, and he'll bring it out to the 25. He'll try the left side. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And the defense is going to have to have more plays like that. He has had a ball game so far, running wild all day long. Defense finally comes up with a stop. They can get a little momentum here. Over 100 yards already in this game. So if I'm on defense here, I'm adding more guys to the box, anticipating that they're going to continue to give this guy touches today. Quickly complete. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. to the line. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Unloads to the wide out. Complete in the middle. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And he makes the catch inside the 25. And this offense is feeling it as they rip off a big chunk of yardage and they've got it on the 22. And another big play from a Sooner receiver. We've seen that before. Some places you might get grades like C, D, all A pluses here. And he grabbed it like a lamb and serving up busted chops like you've seen this offense do so many times in the past. Looking for a gap. It's all Chuck. They make the stop after a pickup of three just inside the red zone at the 19. Got three on first down at second and seven. He'll do it himself. Got some room in into the goal line. Touchdown, Oklahoma! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Man, what a luxury to be able to call a design run to your quarterback and basically let him be a tailback and let him run it in for you. It makes the offense and everything else around him stronger. This QB's just got some good wheels. They'll 
will try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finished it off with an exclamation point, running it in from the 19. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. After giving up that score, now it's incumbent on this offense to kind of get a back and forth going, Jesse, in this game. They got to put some points on the board here. There's obviously a lot of football to go, so it's not necessarily panic time just yet, but I'm getting the ball into the hands of my best playmakers on this drive. Well, I hear you, Jesse, but not panic time. Have you seen my defense? I, I mean, I'm not trusting them to get a lot of stats, so it puts a lot of pressure on this offense. Running back goes in motion. Trying play action. Throws to the wideout. Got him downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. We reach the quarter break with Oklahoma on top. And they are starting to pull away as we come to the end of the third quarter. Let's take a look at how we got here. One more quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. They'll throw it on first down. With the catch, it's Watkins. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. I'll tell you, you cannot count this team out because of who's playing quarterback. When this guy's in the game, it's never over. Yeah, they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, but this dude can put up points quickly. Dropping back, it's dark. Just too much of a rush, and down goes the quarterback just behind the midfield stripe at the 49. We've seen throughout the course of the season, defenses have had their hands full with this quarterback. He's simply one of the best in the country. But what can you say about this defense here today? They have gotten after him, registering multiple sacks, and they've never let him get into a rhythm. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle, it's Wells. Several defenders there to get him on the ground. That wide receiver on the outside is dangerous. When you're playing zone coverage, it's really hard because you're not chasing him. You can't really get hands on him. You got to make sure you send more guys his direction. Maybe slide those linebackers toward that wide receiver so you got a little more help on the outside. The Rebels moving quickly to the line. They'll try to run for it. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. Yeah, and that's a really good job by the defense because when you get in that third and medium area, listen, you got to be worried about the run and the pass. Did a good job playing both, got it stopped, now forcing a fourth down. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. And the try is no good. All points are important, guys, but that one still leaves you with a three-possession deficit down by 17. Guys, we'll get another look at this Oklahoma offense. Line gets set, first down. They'll try the run. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. And that's exactly the start you want when you're on offense. 
in this situation, four-minute offense, I'm not worried about scoring. I'm not worried about getting a bunch of first downs. I need two. I need two first downs, and I'm going to let that clock tick, and I walk out of here with a dime. From the shotgun, the inside give. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and leading the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. It'll be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. Dropping back, it's Arnold. Snags it over the middle. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. He just keeps piling up numbers with completion after completion in this standout performance. And I think some people might say late in the game, you got the win, everything's in hand, be a little bit conservative. Or you just say, I'm just going to keep doing me. And what I do with this offense is throw the football all over the yard, and I'm going to try to win me a big trophy at the end of the year. Catch in the middle. It's Roberts. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. It's amazing how fluid and potent an offense can seem when you get a great pickup on first down and the tight end's a terrific place to go. Tight ends nowadays are kind of like cheat codes. I mean, they, they just know so much about right here. Seeing zone, no one to sit it down. Boom. Positive yards. Nice positive play for this offense. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And the Sooners will hustle to the line. Muscling ahead on third and short. They'll pick up enough yardage for the first down. They've got it at the 30. Everything going the offense's way. They're trying to ice this game late. They've got a really nice lead. So you just want to run the ball, high percentage throws, and keep the chains moving, and they're doing that. This has been a beautiful drive to watch. Offense continues to stay in a nice rhythm here late. Caught in the backfield, it's Anderson. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. And he just continues to put up numbers, and that number is now over 300. This guy just throws completions, man. The ball doesn't seem to touch the ground. He's back there, he's making the right reads. Right now, he is locked into what this defense is trying to do. The Sooners have it with a first and 10. They'll throw it from the red zone. Tosses it incomplete. I'm a little bit surprised they're still throwing the football here this late in the game with this kind of lead. They're on first down, taking a shot, falls incomplete, but obviously they're still seeing matchups that they want to take advantage of in the back end of this defense, so they're letting it fly. And the incompletion brings up a second down. On the ground, it's Hicks. Staying physical in the red zone as he's pulled down after picking up three balls at the 14. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. To the air, it's Arnold. It's complete to the right. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. Just not able to shake enough defenders and comes up a little bit short. And I think a lot of times on third down, Reese, you bet on your guy. When you're an offensive guy, you say, okay, he's going to break a tackle. He's going to get north and south and somehow get the first down. Nice tackling by the defense, understanding where they had to get to and forcing the fourth down. Between the uprights, it's good. And now the lead is even bigger.
They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. They'll throw it on first down. Caught over the middle. It's Wells. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? you got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. And you're going to win this game. And the Rebels in the hurry up. Off play action. Fires to the wide out. And they weren't able to make the connection. They were looking for an explosive play. You know, it's one thing to take shots early in a game when the defense may not be expecting it, but at this point, fourth quarter, you're trailing by a lot. They know you're going to do it, and the defense was expecting that one. Great job in the back end. They couldn't make the connection on second down. Now a third and seven to keep the drive alive. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. No sign of the punt team as they will go for it and try to move those chains. On fourth down, looking for the completion. Makes a grab enough for the first. And they finally make the tackle, but this will be a pretty easy conversion for this offense. This defense better not blink. I know they've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, but just look at who they're going against. This quarterback is one of the best in the nation. They cannot rest on their laurels. Someone's going to have to make a play. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. The give to the tailback. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Off the play fake. Caught near the sticks, it's Zimmerman. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. Well, offensively, they knew they were going to have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one. And all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he has got them on their heels. And he's been showing you a little bit of everything. He can throw it all over the field to all different receivers, to his tight ends, to his running backs. Really has the ability to spread it around. And now over 300 yards. Still some time. Got a lot of running room. The 10. They'll finally put the brakes on him at the three. A big throw, catch and run on that one. And the best thing about this, the offense can't worry about the scoreboard. Just keep trying to make plays like that, Jesse. I know a lot of people in the stadium probably feel like this game is over. Maybe it's been over for a while, Reese, but don't tell that to this quarterback and his teammates. They're still out there scrapping and clawing. After that big play, they're trying to pay it off right on the goal line. Snap it to the back. Touchdown, Rebels! And they take it in for six more points. The identity of this offense is their ability to run the football. They're doing that in this game. That's now three rushing touchdowns on the day. Getting set for the point after. Bangs it through for an extra point. They go 83 yards on the drive and close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. 
Hawaii to get back in this game with that last score. It's a 13-point game as they're set to kick off. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the returner will be brought down. So Oklahoma has it again, and here comes the offense. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. Yeah, I think it's great to get points, but the great team... Afterburner's coming. Inside the 30. Past the 10. And he'll take it all the way. They couldn't bring him down. Touchdown Sooners. Go ahead and have a day at the wideout position. You stack up some games like this, and you can take down D.D. Westbrook's record of 17 touchdowns in a season. And I just want to play in this offense if I'm a receiver across the country. I know every year Oklahoma's going to spread the ball around, throw it around. You're going to have plenty of opportunities, and he is cashing in those opportunities with just touchdown, touchdown, touchdowns. My philosophy on going for two is only when you have to. Quarterback on the keeper. He's going to be stopped short of the goal line. The two-point attempt is no good as they are unable to extend the lead. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play and we'll take a break to check him out. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll start the return inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The offense set for a first down play. He wants to throw. They're trying to get to it. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. And they get him again. This is a offense that you expect them to protect their guy i mean he is a dude that you you know if you give him time he's going to make plays but this defense is making sure he's not getting that time they come to the line hoping to get some of that yardage back from the 17 looking to throw it's dark fires left He's got it. Tackled there by the defense. How crazy is it that one of the best receivers in all of college football just made his first catch in this big of a game? You've got to give the defense tons of credit. They've had a plan for him. They've limited him, and that's why they're going to win. The Rebels want to pick up the tempo. Some misdirection with the counter. Still running at the 40. So important to convert these third downs, and they get it done. They'll have it at the 42. Well, they came into this game today knowing that this guy was going to have to leave his mark in this one, Tote the Rock, and he's done that. He's come up with some big plays, and he continues to do that here late at a juncture where they've got to continue running it if they're going to win. And the Rebels getting set on first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Grabbed in the middle. It's Priest Corn. That had all the makings of bug meat windshield. But how about the little corner taking on the big tight end and keeping him from getting the first? Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. Oh, he's going to try to get it all here. Wide open. He makes the catch. Slippery slide. Find his way and ran away from the crowd into the end zone. Touchdown, Ole Miss. Man, that's a play this kid has been running ever since he was seven years old at the park with his best friend, throwing a go reps right down the field. I'm running by a guy. I'm looking back, locating the football, making the catch. And he does it in a big moment here in this game. Ready to try the point after. Splits those uprights right in half. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. 
And the score coming on the touchdown pass from 55 yards out. They are running out of time here. They need to get the ball back. They'll line up for the onside kick. That's why they call them the hands team. They're able to secure the onside kick. Here comes the Oklahoma offense. Boy, that last touchdown, the one play quick strike score. Jesse, this offense hoping to keep that kind of explosiveness going. I don't know if they're going to get the same looks defensively because of just how explosive that play was, Reese. David, they may be seeing a little bit more uh, off coverage on this drive and maybe some softer boxes to run into. And when you make that kind of explosive play, you're going to put the defense on its heels. They're going to be a little bit more conservative. So this offensive approach now, maybe I don't have to go deep. I can go a little bit shorter and just make those easy plays underneath. Looking downfield, it's Arnold. Fires to the tight end. Makes the tackle right at the 28-yard line. Pick up a five, and they'll move the sticks. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignments. The handoff keep working on that clock. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Leaves it with the back. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Already a chip shot field goal range at the 21, but this third and short, they're still thinking touchdown. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. It's good. And that lead grows even bigger. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive, put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut them down. Here's the return from inside his tent. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. It was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. After that last incompletion, here's second and 10 from their own 20. To the air. It's dark. Finds a man in the middle. Good call, good execution as they move the chains and they have a first down at the 38. This tight end just creates matchup problems no matter how you try to defend him. How about the catch radius on him, too? So as a quarterback, you don't have to be perfect when throwing it to him. You just got to get it somewhere in his vicinity and he can come up with the catch. Comes out throwing on first down. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. And man, it can be dangerous when quarterbacks get outside the pocket. They can stress your defense so bad. You better chase them. You got to keep running 
as hard as you can and try to get to him before he can throw that football and especially square those shoulders up. Nice job by the defense continuing to pursue even though he got outside the pocket. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. After that incompletion, fourth and long now on your own side of the field, you're trailing in the fourth quarter. What's your go-to play call here in the passing game? Where is the matchup that you trust in to come up with a big one to give yourself a chance to stay alive and win this game? On fourth down, they're taking to the air. He's taking a deep shot. And it's incomplete, the long pass on fourth down is to no avail. Running out the clock seems to be a mere formality here as they are ready to snap it in victory formation. <laughs> 